Hey everyone, and welcome to our riding review of Sharks Evo 1 2. The Shark Evo 1 2 is an interesting modular helmet. Uh, it sits around the mid range for the price point, but we can take the chin bar here and we can open it up and put it all the way to the back like that. And this is going to be much more aerodynamic than a modular helmet uh, with the chin bar in this position. And when it's open, you can actually ride around. Uh, as a jet helmet instead of a full face or a module in this case. So we'll close that up. And so what we've done is we've given this to our rider. He's going out and tested it. So we're going to see the results of that test. But first, I'm just going to quickly take you through some of the specs. But if you're interested in a more specific review of the EV-1 2, or if you want to see a comparison of eight module helmets, they're both in the same place. You can find the review in the review playlist and you can find the best module helmets uh, guide of 2020 to get the eight module helmets compared. Uh, you get all the facts on them as well, and yes, the Shark is in that list as well. So now for those details and specs on the Shark EVO 1 2. This helmet has a recommended retail price of 400 euros, and it's going to come with a polycarbonate shell. And it's going to be available in two different shell sizes as well. The whole thing weighs about 1700 grams, and Sharp have given this their safety test. Uh, they rated it at 4 out of 5 stars, a very good result. The visor is Pinlock Anti-Fog Lens Prepared, you get the Pinlock in the box. And it's very easy uh, when you open and close the chin bar because the visor automatically uh, readjusts itself so you don't have to worry about it getting in the way when you're trying to open or close it. So up top we do as well have the uh, sun visor control there, a little slider going to open and close the sun visor. Then we have on the chin ventilation, you can see that there, pops out. Up top, two individual controlled scoops and at the back we have this little spoiler and that's where all that air is going to escape, just out of the two little vents at the bottom there. So we can come back around this side, turn it around. We have a micro ratchet to keep us in the helmet. Uh, the liner is going to be removable, washable, antibacterially treated as well. And this helmet is prepared for the Shark Tooth Communication System, special communication system from Shark for their helmets, uh, but it can easily fit another kind of system as well. So now this is how we record our data. On the left is the temperature reading in degrees Celsius, and that's uh, taken from a sensor placed on top of our rider's head by the ventilation channels. Then in the middle screen is our reading in decibels, and the mic for that has been placed by our rider's ear inside of the helmet. On the phone to the right is the wind speed in kilometers per hour, and on the dash is our rider's speed and outside temperature. So while our rider was out and testing the helmet, the outside temperature was 26 degrees and the wind speed was around 125 to 130 kilometers per hour. Our thermometer inside of the helmet registered an average temperature of about 31 degrees and this showed that it wasn't particularly good in terms of ventilation, but I guess you can always wear it with the chin bar up. Then for noise isolation, we did have a much better result. Uh, 102 decibels is pretty reasonable at 130 kilometers per hour, uh, especially for a module helmet. So we did have some mixed data and results for the EVA 1 2. So now you can see our rating of the different categories for the Shark, and it doesn't seem particularly good, but we'll get there in a moment. For material, a polycarbonate shell with only two shell sizes isn't particularly impressive, and this hasn't helped with the weight. We were very happy with the visor though, seeing as how it interacts with the chin bar, but also the seal and the mechanism. Like we saw on the road, the ventilation was fairly weak, but the noise isolation was pretty good. Comfort was let down by the ventilation a little as well, though our writer said overall it was alright. Where the Shark shines though is in its price, and it, does only, it certainly offers uh, quite a lot of uh, features for this price. But we found its value to quality ratio was all right, not the best out there. Overall, there are better and worse picks than the EVA 1 2, making it a solid three stars. Don't forget that you can find the Shark EVA 1 2 in our online store at championhelmets.com. On our website, you get the lowest price guaranteed, and make sure that you check out the product bundles if you want the best bargains possible. Uh, you can pick up the Shark Tooth Prime communication system in a bundle for an 11% discount, for example. So the Shark EVO 1 2 is an interesting helmet, it has a few advantages, a few disadvantages, and a pretty good value rating as well. So guys, if you want to see any more riding reviews like this one, make sure you subscribe to us on YouTube to stay up to date with all the latest ones that are coming out as soon as you can. So guys, thanks for watching, I'm Chris from Champion Helmets, and I'll see you all next time.